Dr. Curry here. Did you know that I work with a lot of patients who have a condition on their MRI report that's listed as facet or facet joint hypertrophy? or arthropathy, which means arthritis of those facet joints. Now, in plain English, what does that mean? Okay, these back here on the back side of the spine are called the facet or facet joints, okay? Now, what happens is, is when someone develops degenerative disc disease, then that disc, instead of being nice and full of fluid, that disc can start to compress over time and degenerate and become diseased. And when that disc becomes diseased, instead of a healthy disc holding those facet or facet joints open, then what will happen is, is that everything compresses together, okay? Now, when those facet joints compress together, you can see here that they get jammed up. And so then when you bend or turn or twist, those set joints will grind on each other. And when they grind on each other like that, then they get inflamed. Now, the body's natural healing response to any type of inflammation in the body is to lay up calcium deposits. It'll come in. So in, in the instance of if you break your bone. So let's say that you break your arm here. All right. So you get that fracture that's there. So then that's acute inflammation. You'll get swelling, it'll get red, it'll get hot. And then what happens is, is your immune system and your body comes in to try to heal that area. And these specialized cells called osteoblasts will come in that area where the fracture is and it'll heal that damaged bone. It'll repair it, it'll seal back, okay? So what happens with chronic inflammation like what happens in these facet joints, okay, is they're grinding day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year. They keep grinding like that. And that chronic inflammation, the body comes in and says, hey, we got a problem here. And it'll lay up calcium deposits in those joints and then start causing them to get arthritis and hurt. I mean, people will hurt. They'll tell me, oh, Dr. Curry, my doctor tells me that I have arthritis in my neck or arthritis in my low back and that this neck or back pain is be become becoming or being caused by my arthritis. And Dr. Curry, they tell me that there's nothing that they can do about it. That's what I hear over and over and over again. And I treat all these patients who have this chronic arthritic degeneration in their spine and so many of them get life-changing results. Now, here's the deal. When we hopefully hydrate that disc and get space to restore in there, now guess what happens? These joints aren't all jammed and grinding the way that they were before because you've got more cushion up front that helps separate that and hold those open. So then therefore those facet joints can glide better instead of grinding. And that right there is the secret behind helping someone who has facet joint hypertrophy, facet joint arthropathy, even if there's bone spurs coming into that canal. Well, if the bone spurs coming into that canal and pinching and choking the nerve, but then if you hydrate that disc, the bone spurs can still be there but guess what? They're not choking or pinching the nerve, wrecking someone's life. And so I think that that's so important. It's important that you know that that facet joint syndrome is what they call it, okay, is actually arthritis in those facet joints. But you don't have to be hopeless or powerless uh, when that's going on because a lot of people can get their lives changed through care. And so I hope you have a wonderful day. Like and subscribe. Thank you.